10 minutes from the center of Chiang Rai sits the artist estate that is Ban Dam, or the Black House, the work of a local Chiang Rai artist, Dr. Tawan Dachani. So here we are at the private estate of Dr. Tawan Dachani. Now he is another very unique Chiang Rai artist who also is internationally acclaimed. Dr. Tawan Dachani's career is extensive and his art is now world reaching and with a high price tag with even the King of Thailand as one of his clients. This estate comprises of over 40 houses of which he's invested his own money. Now this hall behind me is worth over $3 million. The 40 houses on Dr. Tawan Dutchini's estate are pieces of art themselves, inspired from different cultures and architectural fashions, and accommodates Tawan's collections of paintings, sculptures, animal bones, skins, horns, silver and gold items from around the world. Several of the houses exhibit Balinese and Burmese architecture and art dating back to the Ayuta period. The estate has become a museum and studio for his art. My father seems to collect like a um, small thing, like a skin and a bone or something like that for um, for inspiration for the painting. If you see the painting inside like a snake, um, we have uh, two snakes, uh, we uh, feed for um, seed skin and um, he um, painting and his uh, painting. The house, the building and the uh, skin and bone, everything is, um, is made from um, the artist. The, uh, the artist is collect everything for uh, inspiration, is mainly for inspiration. And the house like um, the spirit how of the artist. How do you explain the different uh, different types of architecture? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, we have a forty house in the pavilion, and uh, we have three groups. The one groups, uh, the wooden groups. The first of all, we start um, around forty years ago, and the two groups is that a wooden with a ceramic, and the third. Um, the cement, the cement group, like um, um, we can see the, the building like a hornbill, the inspiration from the hornbill bird. My father, uh, he studied about um, philosophy, about um, Buddhist, and uh, something um, like um, symbolic. Um, I'm not sure um, what is that mean, but uh, I think uh, everything in the, the pavilion has uh, the meaning. But um, if you want to um, to know it deeply, you can uh, ask to the artist. I think. Tawan Dutchani's unique style of mixing traditional Buddhist art and his own visual interpretation of their meaning caused much controversy in the early stages of his career. Eventually, his individual way of expressing his art has gained him recognition and respect in the international art community, earning him the prestigious award as Thailand's National Artist in 2001. So this is your father's bed here? Yeah. And he sleeps on a lion. Mm -hmm. So this, this is his pillow? Mm. That's incredible. If you've seen in the painting, he used everything um, for a symbolic and um, yeah. sometimes we can see the um, four elements in here and it's chalk and um, form a water and the bird is from wind and the tiger is from a, um, fire, something like that. And the earth is... The earth um, may be uh, transformed from um, elephants, um, rhinos, or something. Would you think, what would be your father's most, um, how would I say, most uh, favourite piece of work or the, mm -hmm. the one that he feels is most kind mm -hmm. of personal with? Does he have one or is it...? Uh, for me, um, he likes Santa Claus. He likes Santa Claus. <laughs> what I did as well when I was a kid. Yeah, you seen um, he had a beard, white beard. Oh yes, I have seen that. Yeah, yeah, it's a very character look, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very character. 
Excellent. This is beautiful. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. Thank you very much. Top one cap. Top one cap. <laughs> Dr. Tawan Dutchani uses his art to reflect his Buddhist philosophy. Like many successful artists here in Chiang Rai, using their vision of heart and mind creatively for their country and religion.